Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Autobot Hot Rod from Transformers The Last Night. Uh, this was the last, last night figure that I needed to pick up. This finishes my collection. I'm very excited. Uh, I've been looking for this guy for a long time. And when I say looking, I really had kind of given up on it. I just really didn't think it was going to happen. This guy was a Walmart exclusive. You can see this Autobots Unite crest. Uh, you can see it a little bit better here on the side. This was a kind of subline that was exclusive to Walmart. And Walmart never really got any of them. It's very strange. They went up on the Walmart website for a very short time. People either pre-ordered them or bought them and then they were gone. And then that was it. Walmart was done with them. So it was a Walmart exclusive that was barely at Walmart. Which is not a good combination. So there was no way to pick up this figure. And I had just kind of written it off. He was part of the third wave of deluxe figures for the last night. But like I said, barely showed up at Walmart at all. Uh, the fourth wave of figures, which was comprised pretty much only of Cogman, never even happened here. Never showed up. I bought mine. I bought the Japanese version on uh, Hobby Link Japan. Which was basically the same as the American version, just with some Japanese uh, you know, stickers to... Uh, have writing in certain places they kind of put stickers over our English with Japanese so uh, <laughs> but yes this is the last one with this this concludes the last night I'm done with it America's been done with it for far longer but you can see here it was found at Ross $8.99 great price um, not quite half but well actually to be fair I, I always think 15 is kind of the new price for deluxes but the movie ones really were 20 Especially at Toys R Us. I guess Walmart, if this was a Walmart exclusive, would have been about sixteen fifty, seventeen, 17 something like that. So it is about half price. Uh, slightly more than half price. But I'm happy to have it. Happy to pay $9 for it. And I'm just really happy to be done with last night. We can all move on. They're going to reboot the universe and we'll see what happens down the pike with any new Transformer movies that we get. But taking a look real quick on the back... Autobot Hot Rod doesn't look back on the victories he's won, only the feats yet to come. The Relentless Warrior changes, nope, the Relentless Warrior charges full force into a firefight, eager to encounter his next chance to be a hero. Okay. I just really like, I love the design of the car, I love the color scheme, I don't know why he was French, that still boggles my mind, but... A lot of things about that movie do. Let's go ahead. Let's get Hot Rod out of the packaging here so we can take a closer look. So here is Hot Rod out of the packaging. And I like the robot mode. Uh, Eagle Eye viewers will probably realize that he does share some design uh, robot mode aspects from Lockdown. From Age of Extinction. Uh, apparently they're not quite Mold Brothers, but a lot of the mold is similar it's kind of an extensive repaint slash retool like i think the people have said like the legs are pretty much the same the uh, chest cavity is fairly similar so he shares some aspects like i said it's a pretty heavy retool but very cool robot mode i love the color scheme i like the black with the silver and red accents really pops i think that looks pretty cool take a quick look at his head sculpt and i like the head sculpt except for the giant goofy eyes and I know that's probably not what they were going for, but to have the blue with the big black pupils, it makes them look like an anime character or something. <laughs> I don't know. Just a little goofy, in my opinion. But overall, I do like the, the robot mode here. So let's take a look. A uh, little bit of kibble on the back, but I think they did a nice job of folding it into the backpack. I think that's actually a pretty good job there. Articulation-wise, the head can swivel from side to side. I guess it does have a little bit of back and forth as well. Yeah, it's kind of a limited ball joint there. The shoulder can kind of go up for the transformation, but it can't really go down at all in the joint that's part of the chest. But the ball joint in the shoulder of the part that's in the arm, that's got a decent range of movement there, as you can see. He's got kind of a swivel and a turn there in the elbow, but nothing in the wrist. That's one solid joint there. Uh, nothing going on in the waist because of how he's all held together. In the hip, he's got an out to the side, but nothing front to back. So that's all he's got is out to the side there. He's got a swivel as well as a bend in the knee, very similar to the elbow joint, but it can rotate from side to side. And then he's got a little bit of ankle tilt there, mostly for the transformation, but it can also come in handy for posability. 
So he does not have any weapons. I kind of wish he came with a blaster or a gun or something. But overall, I really do like the look of him. I like the red, like I said, on the side here. I think the back looks pretty sweet. Very nice contained backpack, not bulky. Very nicely compact. I think they did a well, good job with that. Uh, these little pegs on the side, I know are used for transformation, but I almost feel like you could have attached a blaster there too. I think that would be pretty cool. But what are you going to do? Overall, it's a nice looking robot mode. I like it. So let's go ahead and we'll get on to his transformation. So his transformation is actually fairly simple. You're going to start by pointing the feet straight down. And then you can turn at the knee so that the backs of the legs are towards each other. And then you can see that there's a tab right there. Right there is going to peg into right there. So you just, boom, peg those together. All right, at this point, you're going to come around to the back. And you're going to unpeg the backpack. And you can see that this big gray tab right here was pegged into that giant slot right there. So you're going to unpeg that, and then you're going to also pull the backpack away. And I apologize, you probably didn't see that, but this tab circle right there was tabbed into this circle tab right there. So you untab both of those things. Now at this point, I like to pull these open a little bit just because I feel like it makes... They, you have to do it eventually, but the directions tell you to do it a little bit later. But you have to swivel right here this whole section like that. And I just feel like that's easier to do if you open these up. And you're going to need them to be open in a minute anyway, so go ahead and do it. At this point, you're going to kind of straighten this out. And then you can take the legs, which should stay pegged together, but they're not. And now you can fold it. His head will fit into his crotch. And this will just... Oh, I'm sorry. You have these little flaps. Little tiny flaps right where my finger is. They will fold out. And they just kind of fill in little gaps in the, in the car mode. They're right here. These little flaps right here. Fold them out. Now, you can collapse the feet... And just kind of position that, make sure the head clears, which is a little difficult. Make sure the stupid legs stay pegged together. All right, at this point, you're going to unaccordion out what will become the windshield and part of the hood of the car. So this will come down and then flip around. And you kind of do have to lift it up a little bit because otherwise this silver piece will get in the way. So bring this down. This will all click together. And then bring this down and fit it into the hood section. And you will have to kind of move some things around because things have to like clear and peg together. But then this is the hood that you are left with. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Now at this point I wish that these feet pegged into the back here. They don't, and once the vehicle mode is done, it's not a problem, but I feel like just for right now, I really wish they did. At this point, you're going to pull out the arm and then swivel this around 180, and you can see that's going to be the side of the car. Do that on both sides, and then you're going to drop this in. So you have to make sure those little panels we pulled out earlier, they fit right in this little hollowed out, <laughs> cut out section of the arm. So you're going to drop this back a little bit and make sure that that all fits and then bring this in and then those tabs I talked about on the legs, they will tab in to the sides of the arm right there and this tab will fit up inside right there where my finger is. So you just kind of drop that in, tab everything in, peg that in there and there you go. Now for some reason on mine you know, they tab into the side of the leg grate, but they don't always want to tab in up here. So, you, you know, it's not a huge problem. It's not like it's going to fall apart. But just be a little wary of that. So peg that in. Try to tab these in up here. There you go. I think it's one of those things where, you know, you can get it to tab in here, but maybe it won't tab so much into the leg just because of, you know, how, like, far apart things are. 
But then you just come to the back and you just flip these pieces closed over the butt of the car mode. <laughs> and there you go. That is the Lamborghini alt mode, which I think they did a fantastic job. I love this. This is another main reason I wanted to pick this mold up because I really do like this. It's a very nice streamlined Lamborghini mode. It looks great. The black with the red accents and the silver rims. Really, really nice. Really, really sharp. I like it a lot. I really enjoy this a lot. Uh, rolls fairly well. Can't complain too much there. Little silver Autobot symbol there on the side. And underneath, you know, not too much robot kibble. You see the legs. You see the head, but only the top of the head, so it's not that big a deal. So yeah, I think it's a fairly simple transformation, especially once you get the hang of it. One or two times, and it's uh, pretty good. You even have the Lamborghini symbol there on the hood. Little hood ornament. It's very teeny tiny, but it's there. So that's neat. I like that detail. But yeah, great, great vehicle mode. Love this vehicle mode. Very sleek, very sharp. Very excited. I actually like this guy a heck of a lot more than I thought I was going to. Uh, very fun robot mode. Love the overall color scheme with the black, silver, and red. And that kind of transfers over to the vehicle mode, which is very sleek. Really love the design of the Lamborghini mode. Really looks good. Love the sharp color scheme. Um, he suffers a little bit from lack of articulation in some points. I really do wish his legs could kind of come forward instead of just out to the side. But, honestly, for posing, I think out to the side is probably a little bit more important than front to back because it makes him stand more naturally and things like that. I do appreciate the swivel in the knees, so you can get some nice stances here. Kind of wish he came with a blaster or some kind of weapon as well. Uh, just would have been a nice little touch to give him that little bit of extra, you know, playability. But, overall, especially if you can find him at Ross for $9, I totally think he's worth it. Very nice figure. Uh, fun, simple transformation, and the vehicle mode looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, not too much bad to say about this guy. Like I said, has a couple faults, not perfect, but at $9, really can't complain. So, happy to finally have this last figure for my last night collection. And now we can move on to see what other movie-type items we'll get in the future. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Autobot Hot Rod from Transformers The Last Night. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.